Well, here we are back in Mackay. We're at Mackay Harley to give the old girl a bit of a service. But also, we're here to pick up my Christmas present. So, let's go and see where it is. Okay, now obviously with any brand new bike, you want yeah. to keep an eye on things, so every time that you ride and you step off, you just take a little walk yeah. around it. You've got a run in period of approximately 800 kilometres. Yeah. So during that period, I'd like you not to do burnouts mm -hmm. and not lug it in too tall a gear. Yeah, no, I don't do So ride, no, no, yeah. that's alright, I've just got to state that. Yeah, yeah. Um, also, if you're doing a highway more than the first minute of the case, just fluctuate the speed. Yep. So we're not going to blaze forward. Yeah. Okay. Really simple stuff. Like running in an old car, mate. Correct. But it's only for the first 800 yeah. days and then you can just do whatever you yeah. want. I mean, they're very solid machines. Yeah. Now, controls, all very, very similar to your current bike. Yep. Left and right indicators. Yeah. To ignite the bike, obviously you have the fob with you. Yeah. And you hit the ignition button. So That's the run stop, right? Yep, run stop. That's all yep. you need to worry about, mate. ignition. Yeah. yeah. That starts it. No yeah. throttle, fuel injected, yeah. so just press the press the button away it goes. Yeah. Alrighty. This button is this ABS light, yeah. it'll continue to flash until you start roll. Yeah. Then it'll go out, so don't be concerned about that flash. Yep. Over Hold on this side, you got horn and trip. Yep. Trip gives you all your different functions. Yep. Okay, 20 kilometer run-in period or pre-delivery yep. ride, which we have to do. Yep. Get through approximately that's range remaining. Okay. So if you're cruising on doing a bit of touring, you can say, hey mate, I've got 200 k's left to go before I need what, to. What will the fuel tank give me on one of these? You should get yeah, around about 320 to oh, 370. Great. Better should, than the old 200? Yeah. <laughs> but it's not going to loosen up. No. It's, it's actually not going to loosen up down a Harley until three or four thousand k's. Yeah. Then you'll get your better fuel pump. Yeah. Alrighty. So your trip, yeah. we know that. Lights. High and low beam. Yep. Uh, fog lights. Are lights on all the time when you're riding? No. No. No, they're not, mate. Uh, cruise control. Yep. Right, to set your cruise control, you just press that button. Yep, in. that's cruise. You'll right. see that yep. icon come up, same as a car. Yep. Set, reset. Click it down yep. or resume. Really yep. straightforward, Anthony. Yep. Apart from that, uh, good, sweet. good fuel, 95 or up, please. Yeah, oh, I don't try, try to avoid 91. Where's the uh, shock of, uh, I mean, the Adjustment? Okay. Yeah. Under your seat. Oh, it is. Yeah, you'll have a seat clamp lever. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah, just pop your seat on. How hard is it pop that off? That's not hard, mate. Yeah. Undo that. Undo that. Same yep. as the fat boy. Exactly. Yeah. Work your way through that. Same as your saddlebags. What do you reckon that's set at now? It'll be at an average. Okay. So it actually probably be quite light. It'll be good for one person. Yeah. Um, if you're going to go two on rougher roads. I'd be looking to adjust it for any period of time, you know? Yeah. Um, saddlebags, to get them off, you, you just need Torx head. Oh, yeah. Those two, and it comes off the docking hardware down on the yeah. bottom down there, you see? That's your fuel caps? Yeah. Your original fuel caps, I'll put them in the box. That's the same key? Same key, mate. Same as for your that's steering lock. That's not locked now, though, right? Eh? No. Oh, good. No, no. So that's for your steering lock yeah. as well. So it's got to be a full tilt. Yeah. And then you lock the key. But, unless they bloody, uh, Chuck it on a truck, but it can't pitch without the fork, right? Correct. Yeah. Unless they can actually physically pick it up yeah. and put it on the truck. Yeah. Now, what you can do, Anthony, is you can add an additional siren to the security oh, system. Yeah. Is uh, that for a padlock? Yes. Right. If you wish to go that far with it. Sometimes yeah. you push, I think. Yeah. No, no, fair yeah. enough, yeah. Fair enough. But no, you can I'm actually buy a siren that plugs into it. Yeah. Um, I believe they're about $140, yeah. and the boys can do it here in about five or ten minutes. Yeah. Actually, what I should have bloody got you to do is put the trickle charger on it, but I'll get that done in the next. No, no, it's minutes. got an outlet on oh, it. Oh, it already has. Yeah, yeah, really? it all comes standard with an outlet. Mate. Oh, magic! It should be right there. Oh, yeah, sweet okay. ass. Look at that. You got a, you got your tail there already. And mate. you got a USB port there somewhere. Yes, there, right. So the USB port. 
is this little black box yep. down there. You just pull the cap off. Yeah. See that? that yeah. Cap. You got a USB port, so if you have a handlebar mounted phone, yeah. at least you can run a lead up yeah. to it, mate. Yeah. Alrighty. Yeah. So that's that. Uh, where else? I think we've pretty much got most of it. Yeah, going. no, it's pretty simple stuff. Yeah. Obviously, don't play with that. No, no, don't, no. Don't touch oh, that. Oh, show one. me how that hey, opens. Okay. Right? Really straightforward. Bit of pressure. Turn yeah. up. Oh, beautiful. I now I've got fingerprints on it. That's all right. Um, but they get your fingerprints on it. Yeah, it's just a, <laughs> a push-down twist. Yeah. It pops up and then you undo it, like any normal yeah. fuel cap. To reset it, just push it down yeah. and twist. Yeah, that's it. Locks it in. Alrighty. All right, man. Thanks very much. No, thank you. Uh, right thank on. you for patience, mate. Nah, I really appreciate it. Too easy, mate. If I didn't have the other bike, I might have been sweating. Fair. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and you've got those. Yeah, on the ground. You put it anywhere then, lad. Thanks again. Bye, boys. Thank you. Oh, it feels different. I can tell you, what a difference in ride. I'm used to the fat boy being heavy, not stopping when you want it to stop. Just a whole totally different ride. This new heritage is uh, something else. It's light, it turns, it stops, it goes. It's a whole new, I'm gonna have to take it on a couple of long rides to get used to it. I'm already thinking I'm gonna have to uh, change the handlebars to a little bit longer because they're a bit short and making me stretch out. So uh, stay tuned as we take it for a lap and uh, see how it goes. Woohoo! Action. So I just thought I'd uh, talk about both bikes here and uh, the differences. Comparison. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, subscribe to our channel. Also follow the links to our great merchandise.